As we approach the 15th anniversary of Grand Theft Auto 4, there's a lot of speculation about what Rockstar might do to celebrate. The game was released on April 29, 2008, and quickly became a fan favorite due to its immersive storyline, realistic graphics, and engaging gameplay. Its open-world design allowed players to explore the vast city of Liberty City and take on various missions, side activities, and mini-games. The game's protagonist, Nico Bellic, was also praised for his complex character development and relatable backstory. In the past, Rockstar has not done much to celebrate the anniversaries of their previous GTA installments, GTA 5 and GTA 4, but it's worth noting that the studio did release mobile versions of GTA 3, Vice City, and San Andreas to commemorate their 10th year anniversaries. These mobile releases featured slightly updated graphics and added controls optimized for touchscreens, allowing fans to enjoy these classic games on the go. In 2018, when the 10th anniversary of GTA 4 rolled around, many fans also were hoping for a mobile release of the game. However, Rockstar didn't release the game for phones probably because they were not powerful enough to handle the game's graphics and gameplay. But, with the advancement of technology in recent years, many people are hopeful that mobile phones can now handle the game, and Rockstar will release a mobile version for the 15th anniversary. The release of other GTA games on mobile also adds to this hope, as it shows that Rockstar is willing to bring their classic games to mobile devices. Also, it's been almost a year since the last community update about GTA 4, so it's the best moment to announce something interesting. According to reports, Rockstar Games had plans to remaster two of its most successful and beloved titles, GTA 4 and Red Dead Redemption. These remasters were expected to bring the classic games to modern platforms with enhanced graphics and improved gameplay mechanics. However, the situation changed following the release of GTA The Trilogy, the definitive edition, which included remasters of three other popular games in the series, GTA 3, Vice City, and San Andreas. Unfortunately, the trilogy did not live up to the expectations of fans and critics, as it was riddled with bugs, glitches, and performance issues. As a result, Rockstar probably decided to shelve the plans for the GTA 4 and Red Dead Redemption remasters and shift their focus to developing GTA 6. But, while we wait for the release, or even just the trailer of GTA 6, a definitive edition of GTA 4 could be an excellent way to tie fans over. It would not only celebrate the 15th anniversary of the game, but it would also provide an opportunity for Rockstar to address any issues with the original game and update it for modern consoles. Many fans of the game have been preparing for this special occasion for weeks, and some have even created mods to enhance the game's experience. One such modder, Ash735, has released a remastered vehicle pack, 15th Anniversary Edition, that includes higher resolution textures from Max Payne 3, Grand Theft Auto 5, and the original sources for all vehicles ported back to GTA 4. The mod also features a new license plate system that covers all in-game vehicles and includes special plates for police, taxis, motorcycles, and more. The mod has been in the works for over two years and is designed to be the go-to mod for new and returning players of the game. While some fans are excited about the mod, Others are hoping that Rockstar will take notes from people like Ash and make an official update with some cosmetic changes to the game to make it more appealing to new players. The company could also consider releasing the game on PS5, as the Xbox Series X and S currently offers the best performance and loading times for the game. This would give players who have not yet experienced the game the chance to do so in the best possible way. What do you expect from Rockstar for the 15th anniversary of GTA 4 release? Definitive edition announcement or instant release? New update patch or support for newer consoles? Or maybe nothing's gonna happen? Make sure to let me know in the comments down below. Whatever happens, I'm installing GTA 4 right now, and I'm going to play the whole story from the beginning. If you're not my subscriber yet, hit that white subscribe button to be updated about my next uploads. As always, huge thanks to my patrons for supporting my work. I really appreciate your contribution to my channel. Have a great day everyone, and see you in the next one.